It's story time again, and this time it's Carol's story. Carol loved living with her nan and granddad. They were so kind and loving. She never thought about her mum or dad, as she didn't need to. She had a little bedroom with her toys. She had a garden to play in and a friend just a few doors down to play with. The neighbours were always smiling and nice to her and the park was close by where she fed the ducks with Grandad. She loved nature and her school was just round the corner along with her Sunday school classes. She was a happy little girl. She had everything she needed. She loved her Sunday school classes. She was learning about the Bible and the stories from Jesus were fascinating. She loved hearing them and drawing pictures from the stories. Her nan and granddad gave her a little silver cross which she wore as a necklace. She used to fiddle with it as she sang her heart out to the hymns at assembly, sitting cross-legged on the floor with the other juniors. All that changed after her granddad died. Carol was so sad. She wasn't living with her nan anymore and Grandad was gone. She was troubled and had nobody to talk to. She used to cycle to Crusaders on a Sunday for Bible study, but her heart just wasn't in it as she felt so sad. She was looking for reassurance and asked the assistant there if her Grandad would now be in heaven. The assistant asked her, did your granddad go to church? No, Carol said. Sunday was his only day off and he used to spend it with me and my nan and at home and or, or we'd go out. Well, then he won't be allowed in heaven if he didn't go to church, the assistant replied. It didn't feel right. Her granddad had been such a good man. He had loved children and animals and he was so kind. He'd always encouraged her with Sunday school. He'd worked hard to provide a happy home and he'd served his country from 1939 to 1945 when he was called to do so. Everybody loved him and he was always laughing and whistling. He was happy. Harold thought about heaven. If her granddad wasn't there, then what kind of a heaven would it be? Not somewhere she wanted to be. The people she lived with had told her that heaven didn't exist and the Bible was just stories and nothing more. They said that science had proven this to be true. She had fought this theory of theirs at first. The stories were just so beautiful that they had to be true. But now she started to doubt it. Those stories were gone, just like her granddad. She took off her cross and put it away. She stopped going to Crusaders on Sunday. She stopped singing and she stopped believing. She started being a rebel. She started smoking and she started to hate the world as well as herself. Many years later, Carol and the Good Lord found each other again. Kind people came into her life once more and she started to sing again, read the Bible again, and praise God again. Carol finally realized when Jesus calls you for a sunbeam, then it will happen whether you're eight or 80. Carol still doesn't go to church. She doesn't feel the need to, as God is all around. There is no running away from it. There is just surrender, acceptance, and there is just peace and happiness. If we look at the story in depth, we can see that a few words from adults can alter the course of a child's life for the better or for the worse. Definitely for the worse in this case. The things adults say to children mould their beliefs, and this can take many years to heal if those beliefs stifle a child's natural joy, creativity, education and calling. Perhaps... Carol is of the belief that churches are beautiful buildings to look at architecturally, but they're man-made. The great outdoors, 
the stars and Mother Earth, are the true creation of God. Where better to feel his presence than being in nature and seeing his wondrous miracles? God is love, and love always wins.